Hello everyone, thank you for tuning into my channel. So today I'm coming to you with the hair and face of the day. It has been so long since I've done a hair face of the day. Um, I stopped doing them because they, they weren't that popular. <laughs> However, I've gotten a few people, I guess the couple hundred that like like that like them have asked for them. So I, I'm gonna do them every now and then. Um, I enjoy doing them. This is my look for today. So I'll start with my hair. My hair is a twist out. I used the um, Carol's Daughter Marguerite Magic Restorative Hair Cream. And this is a twist out. I uh, It's a two, three day old twist out. So I just retwisted it and then took it out and you know, fluff, fluff and fluff to the God. So um, for my foundation, you guys know my favorite. I bet you can say it with me. One, two, three, CoverGirl Queen. All day flawless, three in one. And my shade is the color Rich Mink. I had to do my eyebrows. I use the Anastasia Brow Wiz. It has a spoolie on one end and it has the um, eyebrow uh, marker, crayon, whatever, on the other side. And you cannot really see my eyes. One, because my hair is all up in my face. I keep telling y'all, I'm gonna get this haircut. Let me, let me come into the eyes. Mm. I went with the very natural face today. And I use the um, Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion all over the eye. Today, for today's eye look, I um, used MAC. This is a palette that I've made myself. I use this color right here called Brown Script to create a transition color from down below the brows into the crease. And then the next color I use is from this Wet n Wild Vanity Palette. I use this like creamy cocoa coffee color right here. And that is what I put all over my mobile lid. And then I also use this dark brown from this palette as well. And I put that color in the crease. I use the um, Urban Decay Perversion bigger bigger lacquer batter and I use about a thousand coats of that <laughs> and then after I do my eyes I then use my concealer on my face today I wasn't going for a highlight look I wanted to go for a really natural look so I did use the select moisture concealer under my eyes down the bridge of my nose on my uh chin and on my forehead which you can't see so I shouldn't have even done that and then to set my uh, foundation I use the makeup forever professional and if you're one of my OG loves then you know that this duo Matt by makeup forever is my girl this is my girl she and I are besties um, I used color 218 and then I used a new um, blush that I have bought recently um, I shared it on Instagram it's this one this is another palette that I've made um, this is my red palette which is why it only has a couple colors but this is it right here it's called burnt pepper and then after I did that I did my lips today is a nude lip so I use the MAC chestnut lip pencil and I put that all around the liner and then I fill in the lip and then I use the um, Revlon nude attitude uh, lipstick you can see the brown from my lip liner but the color is really nude um, it also looks absolutely crazy when you put it on without a liner so don't do that and then I use the Becca cosmetics I believe it's called fallen angel yep fallen angel this is the Becca cosmetic falling angel lip gloss it's a really pretty nude color um, and when I don't use this I use Revlon nude luster but um I have this, so why not use it? So that's my hair and face of the day. Um, let me know if you have any questions and uh, like this video, especially if you want to see them. You guys got to like watch the videos. Um, and then, of course, subscribe to my channel. And as always, I love you for watching. Bye. Leave you my hinds grabbing the wrong catch up where buttons against me can't prosper. Armor of God is much stronger than the army of y'all. I'm ready for war. After that, I'm ready to ball. And after that,